Hello everyone, all who are on Body of Christ. I see you welcome to the Sword is going to get by meditating upon practicing the presence of God. Before we start, see your scripture talks about this topic. Matthew chapter 6 verse 6. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Now so you can learn from the verse you just read. We found many ways to describe and learn about what prayer is and how to pray. We can always glean something new on this subject by hearing sermons or by reading books. A common understanding of prayer is asking God to do something for us. But today, we will look at another aspect of prayer, a time of practicing His presence. To practice His presence, one must take the time to calm themselves and sit in His presence, pushing aside everything else and becoming ready to engage themselves in a conversation, giving Him one's full attention. Prayer is the practice of the presence of God. It is the place where pride is abandoned, hope is lifted, and supplication is made. Prayer is the place of admitting our need, of adopting humility, of shutting down all other noises around us, of conversating, of listening, of receiving guidance, and calming, claiming dependence upon God. Prayer is the exercise of faith and hope. Prayer is the privilege of touching the heart of the Father through His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Redeemer. Let's start our day by putting us everything aside and putting ourselves in one-to-one conversation, a conversation not for others but for ourselves. Let's prepare ourselves to have a conversation with Him alone. This message also gives us a promise today. today. The promise is, and ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty wonderful God, Lord, Once again, thank you for continuously working on me, helping me to come and stay closer to you with a humbling attitude all day long, listening to your voice and understanding your way to handle things. I ask you in private moments, Lord, help me to listen to your voice at the time of my prayer and put my action plan as instructed by you in my prayer time with you. Help me to listen to your voice, remember all what you have instructed in activating your plan so I and all who are associated with me will be blessed and glorify your holy name. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. If God's going to talk to you tomorrow.